somewhat messy kitchen please just <laughs> ignore all of that i'm just checking in to also record a me talking clip because i don't think this video has had one of those yet so i hope you have enjoyed this vlog so far lots of spring content sunny skies pretty flowers blooming and all of that the weather hasn't even been like constantly good here but whenever the sun was out as it is today i made sure to grab some clips of it Anyway, so I am basically spending, not most of my days, but every day, right now at least, I am heading into the city and sitting down at my university's library to get some work done on my bachelor thesis. I prefer to do it there, or like, at least for right now, I prefer to do it there instead of at home, because... I don't know, the atmosphere there obviously is very good to like concentrate and just like work as everybody else there is doing. Plus, because most of my studies have been taking place during Corona and I did most of my like uni time right here from home. It's actually pretty nice to be in a uni building and do my work there because I actually feel like a full-fledged student there. 
um, which is not really a feeling I have had a whole lot because I have been doing all of my stuff from home. So yeah, just for right now, I really enjoy heading into the city and getting my work done at the library because then I'm also already in the city um, and outside and I can meet up with friends and like grab a coffee somewhere, go have a nice lunch somewhere or something because there's so many cute restaurants, cafes, bistros, etc. in the uni quarter. So it's always a good time to um, hang around there. Plus there's also this English bookshop that I like to go to right there. So hmm, I will probably end up buying some more books <laughs> in the weeks that I'm doing my work there. Anyway, so yeah, that's what's going on. As you can tell, I also did my nails the other day, pretty similar to the ones I did in, I think this other video though, back then I added some more details and I could not be bothered with doing that this time, but still, I think it looks cool, but yeah, I will, remove it pretty soon nonetheless i suppose anyway let's talk about the very good books i'm reading right now let me grab one so i am currently reading two books at the same time one of them is a reread for me and one of them is a new read for me the reread is the invisible life of eddie larue i'm really enjoying rereading that i think i had to think about it again and then had the idea of rereading it because I might have read this about this time a year ago, even though it feels like it's been longer that I read it. I don't think I read it um, in the time that I've already had this channel. And since I started this channel, March 2021, I must have read it before. But I think I had to think about it again because something reminded me of the time back then when I was reading it. And so I had to think about the book again. You know how we associate like certain times with the books we've been reading. And then the weather reminds us of that time again. And then we think about the book again, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, I'm rereading that right now. And I'm pretty much at the halfway point now, which is quite something because that book is thick. But because I have already read it, I'm like not in a rush to finish it again because I, I know what happens and it's just a reread and it's kind of chill. Also, it's like the end of the month and I've already read a ton of books this month. So it's not like that I'm subconsciously pressuring me to finish yet another book. So I have a lot to talk about in my monthly reading wrap up or whatever. Anyway, but the other book that I'm reading right now is actually my first Murakami ever. I have never read any of his other works, even though I've heard a lot about them, but that's the thing, the stuff that I have heard about Murakami's work always left me feeling a bit ambivalent as in like, okay, kind of interesting, but also kind of weird. And I don't really know if it's going to be up my alley. Also, there's this whole thing about the portrayal of women in Murakami's work that is quite controversial. And I don't really know if I feel like getting into that right now. But then who talked about this? I think it was Leonie from the book Leo who talked about this in one of her videos and the like concept of the book so to say really intrigued me and it's like a really thin and short book so I was like okay if I'm gonna start off with Murakami's work might as well start here because this book After Dark takes place during the span of just one night it starts at about like midnight a few minutes before midnight and it ends at about like 6 a.m. or like 7 a.m. like when the sun rises again. It takes place in Tokyo and as you can tell I'm like halfway through it and it seems like we are following a set of characters though actually it's just mainly revolving around a pair of sisters I, I assume and kind of like how they're spending the night, what's happening to them while they are spending the night. As Leonie, because I think it was her, described it in that video where she was talking about it and what really intrigued me was that she said that this book really captures like this special feeling that the night holds like maybe you can relate to this especially if you have been to mediterranean or like it doesn't even have to be a mediterranean country of course but any warmer country during nighttime like countries that are like more than usually hot during the day and often like include some stuff like siestas shops closing because it is too hot when it cools down when night approaches there's like a completely different vibe and feel to the city people are coming out again there's like this nightlife is like really a thing apart from like clubbing nightlife and all of that and i really love that feeling i really love spending time and and because in europe it's of course mostly the mediterranean countries that have that feeling that when it's getting dark and like people are coming out onto the streets again because finally the temperatures are bearable again and I don't know it has such a special vibe okay quick comment from me editing this right now 
I noticed that I'm talking a lot about how I like this difference between night and day, especially in places where it's like really hot, because then you also have this like physical temperature change from night and day and people are coming out into the streets again because it's finally not that hot anymore, blah, blah, blah. That's not really what this book is about because of course, every city has this difference between the daytime and the nighttime, no matter what the temperature is like. And this difference, that's what this book is about. This book does not take place during the summer or anything like that. It like the time of year is not mentioned, but I think it's been mentioned a couple of times as colder during the night. So maybe like late autumn or something like that. But yeah, this entire tangent that I went on like hotter or like Mediterranean countries and their special feeling during the nighttime, that's definitely a thing, but kind of like irrelevant for this book right now. It's just something that I like as well. But this book is about the general concept of there being like a difference between a city by day and a city by night no matter the temperature okay back to the video and because leonie said in that video that um this book kind of like talks about this special feeling that also like a city has if you experience it during nighttime because it's something completely different from experiencing it during daytime I really appreciated the concept. So far, it has been mentioned like a couple of times, definitely this is taking place in Tokyo, that especially the district that this is taking place in, it like changes overnight, gets kind of seedy and dangerous. And that's already one aspect, how it is different from the daytime to the nighttime. But also we have our set of characters, especially our, I would call her our protagonist right now. And she's actually a pretty normal, good, college kind of girl and you wouldn't even expect her to be hanging around all night in a seedy quarter of town like that so following her in this already unusual circumstance is um, of course intriguing as a concept itself plus then all these even more unusual things happen to her because um she she ends up also at a love motel which is not something she would have ever ended up by herself, especially not during the during the daytime. So yeah, I mean, I'm obviously not through with this yet, but so far I am enjoying it. I'm looking forward to how these stories further gonna develop, what's gonna happen. Twenty, twenty-two, side coming back. Pandemic's over, uh. 그래 기분이 오자, uh. 동서남북, hey. 강남 강북, hey. 미안하시고. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Whoa, yeah. Whoa, whoa. Oh. <laughs> I'm not 